Hi everyone, Happy New Year to you all. So the first tutorial that's going to be going up um, is going to be this one. So I am going to be doing some jammy biscuits ready for our um, Alice in Wonderland theme that we will be working on in the next few weeks. So I've just got some cutters out. I think I'm going to do a circle one with um, a love heart middle. Um, I've got my paint out as well, which I'm going to explain in a second. Then you will also need your foam clay. This is the uh, brand of foam clay. You can find this on Amazon and this is a 500 gram bag. This is just white and we're going to colour it in a second. So if you do want to know how we do these biscuits, keep on watching. So first of all, we're going to need our foam clay. This is what it looks like if you are new to foam clay. Um, you just need to condition it first. That just means getting all the air into it. Um, it stops it cracking. It's a lot easier as well to roll out. So just spend a few minutes just getting it warm, um, especially if it's been stored in a cold area like mine. And then we're going to colour it with the acrylic paint. So you will now need to form a well just inside uh, your clay, it just makes it easier to pop in your paint. This is the acrylic paint I am using, I found this in the range, this is portrait pink. You can obviously also go for some sort of ivory colour, it just stops it being uh, too white and then it just helps when we uh, start shading it later on. So just pop in um, a bit in the middle, you don't want too much because what will happen is if you add too much acrylic paint um, into your clay, when you start rolling it out or cutting it, it will start sort of like have a snap effect. That means you have put far too much acrylic paint in. So once you've got your uh, well, all you need to do now is just mix all this together so everything is even. Next, after you've mixed your paint in, I've just flowered this just with some all-purpose flour. It just stops it sticking to my tray and obviously sticking to my cutter as well. You will just need to roll this out with an acrylic rolling pin. If you do have a wooden rolling pin, just make sure you put some flour on it, otherwise your clay will stick to it. So I'm going to use the fluted side and I need two of these. So I'm just going to show you the first one, then I'll pause it just so the video isn't too long. So I'm just going to flour at the inside of this. Cut this out. So you can have yours as thick, as thin as you like. So I'm just going to do another one of these. So we now have a top and a bottom and then we need to cut out, you can do a circle, you can do a love heart, you can do love heart biscuits, whatever you like, it's the same method. So I've just got this little uh, metal love heart and I'm just going to aim for the middle again, I've just uh, flowered this and then I'm just going to cut out uh, the middle for the love heart. like this so now we need to add the jam now there's quite a few different variations for jam you can have it um, with resin you can also have it with um, silicon and mix that in as well I will be covering all this um, throughout um, the next sort of like few weeks but because we are working with clay I want to show you the easiest way because I know you'll all have clay I don't want you to all go out and buy all the bits and pieces just to do your jam middle so I'm going to show you the way um, I would do it just with the clay so with your clay, this is just the spare that I've got over. I have cut uh, a few more because I did have a little bit left, if you're wondering where all those bits and pieces come from. So we're now going to colour this in red. Now it will not lift to the perfect red because we are working um, on such a pale base. It will go more like a dark, um, dark pink. So this is a dark red uh, acrylic paint. So again, just form a well. Pop in some of your paint inside here. Again, if you don't have uh, enough left over, you can go straight back into your um, your bag and just uh, colour your white. And then we're going to mix all this together. And let's say the colour will go sort of like a dark pink. So you need to flip um, your base upside down because what we're going to do, um, if there's any flour, just wipe that off. We're just going to form sort of like a middle. So just make sure when you uh, spread this out that your love heart that's going to sit on the top of this has enough clay to colour it all. This is a lot easier than popping this on and then trying to fill it afterwards and then paint it afterwards as well because it'll get all the way on the inside of the rim. So for this we're just going to uh, snap some off. It will stick to your clay so you don't need to use um, any tacky glue or anything like that to stick this together because your clay will still be wet. If it doesn't stick um, and you've had to go off and do something else, um, just pop a little bit of tacky glue, just help it adhere to your clay, but like I say, it will still be wet. So just sort of, you can roll this out, 
whatever you find easiest. I'm just sort of like manipulating it just a little bit. Just make sure that my love heart is covered with my clay. Then I'm just going to pop this on the top. And then because we need a darker red, we're now going to use our acrylic paint just to bring in uh, more of the red colour. Using the same dark red that I used just to mix the base. Just mixing the base, like I say, it just helps um, trying to cover the white. And then all I'm going to do now is just go over this clay. And then you will see the difference in the colour. You should now have something that looks like this. So now we just need to let this dry and then I'll be back. My paint is now more or less dry. So to make the shine, you can use um, this varnish that I use. This is Art Studio. I think they're a pound. It's probably one of the best gloss varnishes that I actually use. Uh, you can also use clear nail varnish as well. So what we're going to do, we're just going to give this a coat just to make the jam a lot more shinier. If you want to add glitter, um, you can varnish it and then uh, sprinkle your glitter over the top, obviously, before you put your, um, your lid on. That way, again, your glitter is not going all over your pastry. So I'm just going to coat this in the varnish. Get rid of that lump. And then this will just give it a nice shine. So you can go ahead of time and do all these um, and let them all dry together. And then, um, especially if you're making four or five or six or however many you want to make. Then again, we're just going to let that varnish dry. My varnish is now nearly dry. As you can see, it goes really, really shiny. So now we need to add on the top. So our clay might have dried a little bit, so it is definitely best um, just pop in a little bit of tacky glue, just so the top adheres to the bottom. So this is the tacky glue, it's the cheap tacky glue. You can also use PVA glue. Just takes a little bit longer to dry. So with my uh, paintbrush, I'm just going to dab this just around the edge. And now we're just going to pop on the lid. So we don't want to squish it too much, but just try and uh, join the sides the best you can. Just work all the way around. And then we're going to colour this to make it more realistic. Just before we colour, colour it, sorry, just another tip, just get the palm of your hand because this clay does swell a little bit um, and just press it down just gently. That way, again, it will help just a dear. If your um, love heart has become like a funny shape, just get the end of a cocktail stick, a skewer or the end of the paintbrush um, and then just gently just pull that up. Just going to show you mine hasn't come out of shape but just in case yours has that's the way to sort of like um adjust your love heart so now we need to make our biscuit look a lot more realistic so i am using some light brown some orange some yellow and the base colour that we used at the beginning, which is portrait pink. And I'll be back for part two.